Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to give you a quick overview of Google Classrooms. When you log into Google Classroom, the first thing that you should be able to see is the range of your classes. If you're a classroom teacher, you should be able to see all the classes that you teach plus your form class. If you're a head of department, you'll probably be able to see all of the classes in your department. They'll all have names and different pictures at the top to indicate what they are. If you want, you can move the classrooms around into different orders by just dragging and dropping. Selecting one of the classrooms will take you inside. When you get inside, all the Google Classrooms look exactly the same. There are four tabs along the top, Stream, Classwork, People and Grades. The first default page it takes you to is your Stream. Here you can see the title of your classroom, an invite code, which we shouldn't need as all of the students have been pre-populated into our classrooms. The stream showing us what's been going on in that classroom. If you want, you can start to customise. You can choose select theme and you can choose a picture that's appropriate to what your classroom's about. You can choose your subjects and see what represents you. And then select. The stream is a really useful term at keeping people updated with what's going on in your classroom. You can see here that any recent developments have been uploaded straight away. Again, if there's work due for students, they'll see over here all of the work they need to complete. The second tab is the one that you'll use the most. This is the classwork tab. This is where you can upload all sorts of different material. You can arrange it into different topics to make it easy to navigate for students, and you can drag and drop those topics into different orders to keep the most recent and relevant work at the top, but also to allow students to look back at previous material. Students can also filter here by the different topics. So for example, you could arrange your work according to the different topics you teach throughout the year. The next tab is People. When you click on People, you'll see all associated teachers and co-teachers. If you share a class, other teachers will appear here. Your student list, which for us has been pre-populated, will appear here. The last tab is Grades. We're not going to spend too long on this tab now. We'll look at that once we've started setting work and what it can be used for. 